All right, fellow fan collectors, your eyes are not deceiving you here. Today we got a haul of four ceiling fans, all for free. Just had to do a long drive to get them. So before I talk uh, specifically about them, we'll do a little tour. So this is 2017 Hunter Westminster. Um, we'll talk about that fan towards the end. This is a 2018 Hunter Amberlin, which I actually quite like. I, I never had seen this fan before. And then here's what I was really after. These two gloss black Hunter preferences. This one is from the third quarter of 1997. And this is from the first quarter of 1998. And I, I really just wanted to take these two, to be honest. But in the Facebook Marketplace listing, there, there was an agreement that if you came and took them, you had to take them all. And the people were really nice to me. They helped me out. They offered to help take them apart if I needed. And I really appreciated that. So I just kind of did them the favor and took them all. So these two I'm obviously keeping. This one I think I'm going to keep. This one I am not keeping. And I'll go over this one first, I think. So I don't think you can see, but this fan had a little bit of blood on it. Now you may be asking yourself why. Well, somehow, some way, I'm this metal is much sharper than the metal in the vents here. And I managed to cut my finger on it. And I didn't even realize it at first, but there's no time to stop. I just had to get the hell out of there. But yeah, this fan, I'm only keeping the shades. I think I'll keep these pull chains too. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put those shades on here and then I'm giving the fan to my buddy, kind of as, as a joke gift. But yeah, this will be the last time you see this. This, I'm just gonna keep. Because why not? I mean, this goes for about 150 online. You know, it's not worth getting rid of. And then now uh, we'll get on with the real show here. So we'll go over this one first. Since it's older, there's a bit of paint on this blade. But other than that, it's it's in pretty good condition. There's just a little bit of dirt on it. You know, I'm going to try and vacuum that off. Uh... It's not bad. The only thing that kind of annoys me with these hunters is how to take the blade brackets off. You have to take apart the whole switch housing first. And I didn't realize that because I'll show you momentarily, but my Southern Classic, the arms go out a little more so the blades can just be taken off. But this, at a weird angle, but you can't just take the, the blades off and not the arms. So, it, it, I just had to leave these two uh, assembled, which made getting this one and this one in the car a pain. But, uh, yeah, so this one, they both spin well. This one's in the better condition of the two. This one, though, has a spotlight. This one is slightly fucked up, this, this piece of it, but it's okay. It probably still works. And I'm happy to have a Hunter Spotlight. I like that. Uh, yeah, this one's much dirtier, though, than its twin. And this is the newer of the two from the first quarter of 98. And it's got this little flea bite on the arm because of this fucking thing. When it was in the car, it kept banging around, but there wasn't much I could do. And I don't live in an area with... Uh, the best roads, you know, they're bumpy, curvy, there's hills. But yeah, so I'm gonna give that one a good scrub down. But real quick, I'll show you what I was talking about with the Southern Classic. I'm not even gonna cut the video. Go in here to the collection area. I don't know when you're seeing this video, uh, cause there's a lot of uploads I have to get through. You may have seen this, you may have not, and I'm not gonna talk about it. 
but yeah see this southern classic i was able to get the the blades off and not have to take off the fans on marketplace so yeah that's just a quick overview of these new fans gonna take them inside clean them all up this one i'm gonna just put in the car right now get it ready to take to my buddies and yeah so i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one